You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show! Take a seat and tune in. Yeah, I watch the boy Joe L.O.T.'s Brooklyn Zone. And right now I'm listening to the round table with Lenny S., Maya the Beat, and Big Life. Good luck. The round table, y'all. catch a body, yaddy, yaddy. We back. My man Joel Ortiz is here. This is the straight stunting edition of the round table. How stunting is it? I am Lenny S, aka Osama Ben Swaggin. <laughs> and I am Big Lot, <laughs> aka at me. Mr. 300. My man Joel Ortiz. And I am Joel Ortiz, aka Barack Oh, yeah. You heard? You heard? And Yo, this is Maya B. <laughs> tell the people what you prefer right. to be in a situation like Koch or just any independent situation or major. Because everybody thinks it's the biggest shit in the world to be signed to a Def Jam or Interscope or, you know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, you just want to, first of all, you got to get yourself a fan base. Because mm-hmm. once you got a fan base, that shit, none of it really matters. They're going to they go out and get your shit, whether it's on Koch or whether it's on a huge, super duper major label. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you got to get yourself a fan base and you rap for them niggas every fucking time out. But you've experienced both. What do you prefer, like, for your career? Um, Money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I got children and stuff, but um, that's not the angle. The angle is to come out. So whoever the fuck is going to support you and put Joel Ortiz out or whoever you may be out because they digging you and they believe in it, that's where you want to be at. You know, money will happen if you, like, if you got that fan base I talked about because you'll make some show go out. But it's about going out. Whoever believes in you, whoever's going to make you priority is where you should be at. You feel rappers have a certain window that opens and closes a certain amount of time? Oh, hell yeah. That's what, I mean... That's why this is a business. You, you feel that the uh, aftermath situation hurt that? Um, nah, nothing could hurt my window because uh, I'm dope. So yeah, what's I'm going okay. on with you, you and J- you and Jermaine Dupree? Nothing. That's some old shit, right? That's, that's, that was, I mean, that, yeah. yeah that's, do you that's, still no. have that, that no? Was, like, some I mean, is there a relationship with y'all? Do y'all work together? Is there anything in the future y'all nah, might I do? I don't know. No, no, no. I think that was stemming from the thing where you were supposed to battle. Um, what's that artist he had? Um, that was one on one on six in Park. Uh, Sonny? Sonny, y'all supposed to battle or something like that? I don't know. Nah, that was, um, what happened was an e- an EA, I had an EA Sport rap battle right. that I won in 2004. I like that, that I won. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I won in, um, <laughs> uh, alongside, alongside the, um, the fact that you made NBA Live 2005, the soundtrack, you were supposed to get a demo deal with Arista Records. Okay. And Jermaine Dupree was handling that at that turn, at that time. And I, that, I never got that. And I never got the ten thousand dollars. Oh man. Oh, what? So are you like looking for Jermaine? So I ain't really Jermaine. care about. I ain't really. I'd be looking for Jermaine. Like, that. where's my ten? Yeah, I'd have been a Jermaine door. Yo, excuse me. Right. That didn't bother me because you know what I mean. It is what it is. I know how the game be sometimes. Right. It's just that um, at, you know, like a week or two after he had signed another freestyle battle with him. Right. So what's your association with Fat Joe? He's cool, man. That nigga game giving me nothing but love in the magazines when they ask about me. I'm cool with Holmes. You know what I'm saying? You heard about that little thing with him and Pat Poos, right? Uh, who hasn't heard about that? Okay. Who would you put your money on? Is Fat Joe <laughs> dropping Pat Poos or is Pat dropping Fat Joe? I don't know. I've never seen That's either one lie. of them do it. That's a lie. Okay, but it's okay. You're staying diplomatic. No, nah, I just don't know. I've never seen either one of them do it. If you looked at both of them. Who would you pick? You don't got to be big. Man, that's like looking at a... Fight. You know, that's right. It ain't the size. I've seen some corny book Come covers, that, okay. but some that's interesting right. novels. Right. So nobody you wants her. to <laughs> get that. twitty on her side. Yes. <laughs> Sturdy gets one. Okay. Um, you know what I really want to know is how was... You were saying that your album was received very well. Right. I honestly didn't hear a lot about it, so I would like to know how it was received. Damn. Because I'm not saying that in a way, right. but I did... You were... Like, every dude that I was talking... Like friends wise, at the time was like mm. Joel Ortiz, Joel Ortiz, Joel Ortiz on the mixtape, right. and then, you know I haven't heard somebody talk about somebody since Joe Buttons like that. Mm. Shout how, out to Joe Buttons. Right. Um, how Joey. do you not become a J Hood of the mixtape, you know, world? No offense. <laughs> Ouch. But come on. Well, for I mean, one, he put an album out already, so that separates right, him I mean, immediately. I mean, yeah, like you said. I mean, out of, the, out of the, like, you know, the whole, coming for you, out of the, out of like the whole new school class, I am right. one of the, the few that did actually put an album out. Right. Um, I do have a fan base. Like I told you, I still, I'm still touring. I'm still, right. um, staying relevant. Right. I'm still giving the, the websites something here and there to keep my name popping. So, I, I got a nice little. Buzz going yeah, but let's keep it straight. I know you from way back. You ain't just Star Joe. You go back. Yeah, I go back. I go. I back. remember you from the Ron G days, baby boy. Yeah, we go. Ron, I mean, yeah. he's a baby. Isn't he baby? <laughs> I put my. Oh, first, let's don't get it twisted. This I'm ain't like, a new. I put my first twelve inch yeah, out. Ain't nothing on new here. Ain't nothing new here. I Joe you been were around. Like twenty one years old, and then you said kids and whatnot. I was like, you have. Nah, kids. I'm not twenty one. I'm in you my twenties though. Okay. Joe done put Thank a lot you. of work in. 
Thank you. Joy, I'm not you up there trying to lie about my age. You think yeah. it's harder for the average, like, it's hard for rap in general right now. You see where the climate is in the music business. Right. But for a New York rapper, for a Northeast Coast rapper. Northeast Coast? I don't know. Northeast. I don't know. I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, man, talent can't be denied and a demand can't be denied. You're right, but what the people want is different nowadays than what they wanted in 97. Well, what people want. See, the problem the public, is that it's not diverse enough. You know what I mean? Like, you can have the dudes that are looking for the dance music. I'm not a, I'm not a hate on no, that I'm kind of stuff. Even. When it's 2.15 in the morning and it's something with a fat ass in front of me, I don't want a hard record on. Mm -hmm. I want some dancey shit to make her shit move around. <laughs> but there's a time when I'm getting dressed in the crib and I'm eyeing and that maybe you could put that head nod shit on. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, I just think that the game ain't diverse enough. Niggas exactly. Ain't I agree with you. That's what so I'm saying. So, that, therefore, it is a little bit rougher to get on radio. Right. And therefore, you know, it's harder to, for people to get familiar with your records. Right. Exactly. So, you know, it's a chain effect. But I think, you know, it's going to come around. It'll come around. I was going to say, what's the answer to that? The answer is internet. Exactly. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, radio is not going to be as as cracking it's as... It's too limited. Yeah, you know, it's so... too many ways. Too many roadblocks. You're going you're to be the internet. And right now, the internet is buzzing with, yeah, wow, Joel O.T. So, I feed the <laughs> internet, and that's where I get my spins at. So, you doing anything new now? You working on a new album? I got the mixtape coming out April 15th called Free Agent. Okay. Uh, Did you bring any in, up in here, Joe? Huh? You brought any with you? Now, I ain't bring any with me, I don't believe it. Really He's cool. actually in the middle of working right now, right? Thanks for coming yeah, through. Yeah, I'm actually session. Going right appreciate it, definitely. Right Hot yeah. artist, OG in the, the business. Um, the uh, free agent mixtape, you know, I got the dude Joe Buttons on it, Pat Poos is on it, uh, Talib Kweli's on you it. You and Joe Talib Buttons online are like J and Nas. I know. I know, that's, that's what I do. You guys crazy. should do a little Best of Both Worlds. Should do an album oh, together. Man. <laughs> Anything you want to promote? Anything you want to let the people know before you get MySpace out of here? MySpace um, page? Yeah, MySpace.com slash Joel Ortiz. Yeah, of those of y'all that's looking at Don't Know Me, um, y'all can hit me up on YouTube. A uh, bunch of stuff will come up. I do a video once a month. Basically, to uh, give y'all visual, you know, I don't like to do a lot of talking. I just like to show y'all, so y'all can hit me up there. I'll be at a show venue near you. Uh, basically, Joel Ortiz is around the world. That's hot. Hot artists. Thank you for coming. We're about to be back Thank in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Was in the building. Big up to my man Mike and big up to my man Marcus, who didn't think Joel was going to come. Big up to Dennis. I proved him wrong. That's right. We, we the round table. Dennis. Big up to Casey. <laughs> Let me look at these That's fatties. right, K. Yeah. Yeah. But we rock me TV.com. No shrink this screen. We'll be back. Back you might get the shit slapped out of you. Yeah, yeah watch the boy Joel Ortiz, Brooklyn Zone. And right now with my dude Gemini Keys. And you watching Rock Me TV. Don't shrink that screen. You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in.